welcome everyone. My name is Nick O'Leary. I'll be hosting the panel today. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so the Band Dynamic Entertainment JRPG panel, uh, your yearly panel here at Anime Expo. Uh, and with me we have two lovely people. First to my right is Dennis Lee. Hello. Hi everyone. Dennis is our uh, director of brand over at Bandai Namco uh, Entertainment America. And next to him we have now Takeda. Now is our international marketing coordinator from our headquarters in Japan. Uh, but for right now, we're going to start with our upcoming title. Project Cross Zone 2. かつて二つの組織同士の戦いがあった。大馬と神羅。大馬は揺らぎと呼ばれる空間の歪み。時空を超え、異世界とこの世界をつなぐ門を開こうとした。特務機関、神羅悪霊、鬼、天狗古来より人の世に害をなす異界の存在と戦い続けてきた組織幾度かの戦いの後ひとときの平穏を取り戻した世界に突如として現れた金色の鎖物語は新たにこの町から始まろうとしていた逆転させるいきなりこれが俺の武道だあコンビネーションだそれはよ、奥に力を<音声>これは、殿様とかお前は何者だ落ち着いてよ、長谷尾
there's so many different iconic characters in the game. Um, what you can see on the screen here is just some of them. Of course, as far as you RPG fans, you know, you have Yuri there, Flynn in the game as well, um, from Tales of Vesperia. Um, you got Sakura Tyson characters, you've got Flat Eater characters, there's so many more, and we haven't really announced everyone that's going to be in the game yet. So let's take a look at some of the uh, let's look uh, look at some of the games that have the characters in there that we've announced already and see them in action. ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ。ジェイ
ここからが勝負だな早く攻略してしまいましょうこの調子で次もよろしくクエストクリアえへへやったね私がいるんだから当然でしょライバルがいるというのも悪くないさい<笑>先いいねレインってこのことを覚えてるかあのデスゲームからの生還者また会えたな来いキリト大それたことを考える子供だよあの子が隠してることって一体何のお目当てのものは手に入ったのかなんで遠足みたいになってるのさこれは互いに利益を分け合う純粋な交渉よみんなやめて Sword Art Online Rehollow Fragment. Um, of course, this is the remastered version on the PlayStation 4 from the original game that we released on the PlayStation Vita last year. And um, of course, it has the um, you know, new HD graphics, new content, as you saw in the video. Um, but we have a couple other things that um, we wanted to kind of confirm for you guys. And so one of the first things, um, we've gotten a lot of questions about this. And so we're happy to announce that the PlayStation 4 version is going to have an all-new English localization. Yes. You know, some, some, some of you guys were a little disappointed with the localization that was done on the previous game. So we're making sure that this one is more in line with the localization that's been done on the anime series in the US. Um, and um, Rehollow Fragment is just right around the corner. So the release date is July 28th. Oh. right there on the corner, so it's exclusively through PSN for your PlayStation 4, and so that's a good thing for that. Um, we, do want to, uh, we want to then move on to a little bit about um, Sword Art Online Lost Song. Um, there's a lot more information that we're going to have about this game coming in the coming months. Um, the game is going to come out this fall, so it's again uh, later this year, not too far away. But we did have one announcement that we did want to um, have for you guys that we wanted to talk about, was that we have a special PSN bundle promotion for the PlayStation 4 version of the game. So if you pre-purchase this special bundle um, that will be made available when Sword Art Online Rehollow of Fragment comes out, um, you're going to get both Sword Art Online Rehollow Fragment and Sword Art Online Lost Song. And it's going to be at $59.99, so essentially you're getting Rehollow Fragment for free with the rest of the So make sure that you order that so you can make sure to get both games. And really, you're getting the whole game trilogy since, um, since uh, Hollow Fragment had the first two games in there, and you're going to get that, and then you're going to get Lost Songs. So you're really getting that whole trilogy. Thank <laughs> you. 
with by collecting and raising, training, and digivolving over 200 Digimon, traveling between the digital real world environment, and going turn based team battles. So, when is this coming out? So, you will be able to solve this Digi mystery next year. And again, it will be available on PS4 and Vita digitally. Tales of the Sea. So, last month we announced that the Tales of Hysteria will be coming out for PlayStation 4 and Steam. And this is the first time, I believe, Dennis now can correct me if I'm wrong, that the Tales, the main Tales game, has been available on more than one platform. At, at launch. Is anyone keep up compatible? Well, really steep version of compatible. So, I can't answer that right now. That's so far away right now. But it'll be uh, available October 20th, and we have a trailer for you. and also Mystic Arts. So that's going to be available at participating retailers, of course, while supplies last. So you don't want to wait too long before pre-ordering. Um, but, of course, we have more exciting news for Tales of Hysteria, um, and that is the announcement. It's a lot to take in, but it, it is going to be exclusive for the PlayStation 4. So, sorry for you PlayStation 3 you guys out there. But, um, but it's going to include a set of the Chibi Conchera figures. So, if you got the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles Collector's Edition, these will be kind of a matching pair. Um, now has them here that she's going to set up so you can take a look at the new figures that are going to be available. Yeah, I received extra samples three days ago from the manufacturers. <laughs> <laughs> and so in addition to the figures, um, there's, gonna, there's a lot of other stuff that you can see there. There's um, some cool like 8-bit style keychains that we have. There's three of them. They're down at the bottom. Um, there's a music CD, a steel book, a hardcover art book. Um, a collector's edition DLC pack, which includes an exclusive 20th anniversary theme, um, amongst other things. 
Um, and um, lastly, one of the coolest things that we think that's in there is we have a Blu-ray um, of the Tales of Hysteria Dawn of the Shepherd OAV anime. So and that's going to be on a disc, so we'll have that available as well. Promotion that we have um, for some series, so the Alicia's Conviction DLC that's playable. Um, we're announcing today that the DLC epilogue for the Tales of Hysteria story is going to be free at launch for a limited time. The pre order or the collector's edition, all of that content, um, this uh, playable quest basically is a good chunk of time that you can play. And it's a $9.99 value, and of course, we're going to offer for free, but it will again be for a limited time. So, again, don't delay too much in getting the game and playing it and enjoying it. Yes! All right, it's a great deal. So, we talked a lot about the PlayStation platform for Tales things, but we can't forget about our Steam users. So, uh, like I said, baby steps with this stuff. Get out of here. Uh, last month we announced Zesteria for Steam, but today we are announcing that another Tales game is coming to Steam. So Tales of Symphonia will be available in 2016. Uh, early 2016 yes! for Steam, and as part of a special promotion with, ta with Tales of Hysteria, uh, you, uh, a pre-order promotion, um, how can I explain this? <laughs> so there's like there's different milestones to the um, the pre-order. So the more people that pre-order, the more bonuses that you're gonna get um, when you pre-order Tales of Hysteria. So the basic <laughs> The basic pre-order, of course, you're going to get the Mystic Arts, and you're going to get the classic Tales of Weapon set, just like with the, um, the, the PlayStation versions. And then when we hit the bonus tier number one, you're going to get um, a set of four classic Tales of Costumes um, that are the male characters. And then bonus set tier two is going to be a set of four costumes for the female characters. And then, and that gets you basically everything that was that is available if you pre-order the PlayStation versions. But as a special special thing for Steam players, um, if we hit bonus tier three, which is the last tier, then you will also get a free copy of Tales of Symphonia on Steam. <laughs> Symphonia will be $19.99 normally or on Steam. Yes. So that's $19.99. Yes. And this is exclusive item of the collector edition, so please do not forget to pre order the collector edition. And uh, the animation is, of course, uh, played in the dual voiceovers, so both Japanese and English. And the same voice actors, uh, same English voice actors, play the Sray, Mikulio, Alicia in the animation as well. And uh, of course, there are subtitles in your languages, so don't worry about it. So today, uh, we want to tease a very short, uh, of the, short time of the OVA in English. So please check it out. Hey! Sorry I'm late. They could be in the forest. Want to go check? Good call. Let's try to stick together. Yeah, yeah, I know! Oh, that voice. Mason? <laughs> Over there! Mason! Well, isn't this peculiar? Honestly, I didn't expect anything but the main course. But what luck. Now there's two more side dishes. What the? Is this creature the Hellion? Your evil kind are not welcome here. Leave at once. <laughs> You're a mouthy one, aren't you, youngster? <laughs> the bigger the bark, the tastier the morsel. Huh? Morsel? 
What, did I stutter? You're the next on the menu, you little twit! Think again! I could hit you right here and now, you know that. You all right, Nikolio? Yeah. 